guys I'm back again Raul TV and uh, this time around what we're going to do is uh, we're going to replace the fan belt or the auxiliary belt uh, tensioner on a Seat Alhambra which is the same as a VW Charan which is the same as a Ford Galaxy uh, it's a diesel one 2 litre diesel or 1.9 diesel they're all pretty much the same so yeah uh, let's get go ahead and let's do this right the first thing we're going to do and if you're at home make sure you jack it up put some axle stands underneath and uh, make sure it's safe because a uh, big car like this you don't want it to fall on your head right first thing we do is we uh, send it up on the ramp and take the big massive cover off sometimes I'm lucky on this one doesn't have the cover sometimes they do have a cover take that off and what we're gonna do is now I'll switch the camera around so you can see right that's the tensioner up there as you can see there just about make it out see that uh, spanner head just one minute, I'll, I'll put a spanner on it so then you can see exactly which one I mean. Right, uh, there you go, I've got the spanner on it. It's a 16 mil uh, spanner head on there, on the tensioner. All we do with that one is we go clockwise. When we go clockwise, it will release the tension on the belt and all we do is just knock the belt off. Just take the belt off and then we'll just go from there. So basically what we do is that, Cl uh, clockwise, if we go clockwise you'll see, can you see the belt going loose? That's all we do. Tip, what it is, um, when you take the belt off, this is what, this one's uh, an easy one, basically it's, it's one it's got about three, four pulleys. Uh, if it's got so many pulleys around it, like air conditioning pulley and the water pump pulleys or the rollers and stuff like that, make sure you just draw it or take a picture of it before you take it off because the last thing you want is you take it off and then you find out oh, which way does it go on and you will eventually get there but it's going to take a long time, you know, a long process. So. Uh, or if you've got auto data, just check it up on the auto data. But best thing to do, just draw it out or take a picture of it. Okay, guys, the next job we're going to do is uh, dead easy. We take this cover off. I mean, the fan belt tensioner is there. The tensioner is down there. If you want to squeeze your hands in there and get it off that way and everything, then it's up to you. But the way I see it, the easiest way is this way. Basically, take that off. Take the clip off for the uh, air filter pipe, the air intake pipe. Take the airflow meter uh, switch off. Basically, just flick that off. There's a little Allen key there, right there. Size five Allen key, or maybe size four. I think it's a size five. Uh, take that off, and the whole air filter box comes off. Happy days. We can get our hands in there, do whatever we want. So let's do that. Okay, guys. I've took the air filter box off. I've took the cover off. Just lift that off. It comes straight off. And uh, yeah, as we can see now, we can get to the tensioner right there. One little catch on these tensioner is the top bolt is there, 13 mm bolt, no problem, we can take that off, happy days. The other one is right down there, can you see it? Opposite the uh, roller, let's see, if, let's see if I can point it out to you. Obviously you guys can see it, just there, where my finger is there. Can you see that one bolt there? It's there, so oh, well, the thing is, obviously the roller gets in the way, the uh, tensioner gets in the way as well. So what we do is, see this little hole there? If I can show you guys. There's a little hole right there, okay? And there's a little hole on this here. Yep, can you see that hole there? What we need to do is we need to get a pin like that or if you haven't got one of them, just get a, a, a drill bit, uh, well, same size as that hole, right? Put it in there. I'll try to demonstrate. Just in there like that. As you can see, it comes out through the other side, yeah? So what we do is just keep it pulled out like that. Yeah? So we get the 16 spanner on there. Like that. Line that up to that other hole. Yeah, as soon as it's lined up, we push that uh, pin in. I can't do it because I've got a camera on one hand and the span on the other hand. Uh, as soon as it's lined up, push that other pin in, and then that should stay there. And then you can get to the bolt, no problem. Basically, that's it. As you can see there, I've put that one on. The uh, pin's holding it, and all we could, we could we can get to the other bolt now, dead easy. Uh, all we do now is we take the bottom one off, take the top one off, happy days, tensioner comes off and we replace the tensioner. Okay guys, I've took the bottom bolt off, all we need to do now is take this one off. Make sure you get 13 on there, nicely on there. That's all. 
nice and loose. You would be holding it with one, one hand and the taking off with the other hand, but since I've got the camera on one hand, and there we have it, guys. Tensioner off. Happy days. Time for a brew. Let's go. Right, guys. There we go. We've got the new tensioner there. The auxiliary belt tensioner, fan belt tensioner, belt tensioner. We'll go for the gates one because the uh, I would say that's one of the best made gates. If you go for a, a INA, that's good as well. Um, LUK, they're good. Yeah, don't go for any uh, you know rubbish make. So anyway, uh, there's the belt. As you can see, that's got a tensioner. There's a tensioner. As you can see, that's that's got the pin already in there, right? So what we do is we just fit it the way it comes like that. Don't take the pin out. Fit it, fit it on. Put the bolt on. Two bolts there. One there. One there. Uh, get the belt on as well and then what we do is right at the end we just slacken the tension a little, little bit and take the uh, pin out okay guys I've got the tensioner back on uh, tensioner's back on what you do is don't go tightening one bolt up and then tighten the other one up put both bolts on the uh, finger tight then go tightening it up uh, the pin's still in so what I've done now is I'll switch the camera on so you can see what I've done now is uh, I've put the belt on, as you can see, well, it's loose obviously with the pins on. Uh, what I would suggest is you get the bottom pulleys on first, like the air, uh, power steering pump pulley, uh, or the belt onto the power steering pump, uh, onto the crank pulley, onto the air conditioning pulley, and then we send it, send the car down, and then just get it on the, uh, ten, uh, what is it, the, um, the alternator, take that pin out, and happy days, job done. Okay guys, everything is done. As you can see, I've put the air filter back on. I've put the uh, wiring plug back on, all the switches and everything. All the clamps back on, um, fan belts back on. Everything's tight, moment of truth. Let's start it up. Happy days. Anyway guys, hope this video helps you, out, helps you guys out. Uh, if you're replacing the uh, auxiliary belt tensioner, fan belt tensioner, um, it, it, you know what it is, it's a dead easy job, but it's just, you have to have a little bit of patience, you know, when you come to fit in the belt, uh, get two people to fit the belt, one person to tension it, unless you're feeling strong and you can go for it, but I would suggest get two people to tension it with you, uh, uh, get the belt on that is. Um, the bolts and everything, like I mentioned, make sure you get that pin on, if you get the pin on, then you can take the bolts off easy, putting it back on dead easy, uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway guys like share and subscribe to my channel hit that uh, bell button for me smash the like button for me and uh, yeah and i will see you guys soon